Hi Sagittarius, this is your February 7th through February 13th weekly tarot reading. I usually do five separate spreads in my readings, however, since we're right in the middle of Mercury retrograde, I figured if um, X spread wants to come out as I'm shuffling and asking for new love, then I'll just work with that. I'll still do uh, the couples spread, we'll still do um, the work business and finances spread, and uh, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Uh, please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. So here's what we got for the first spread. We have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Swords, we have the King of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Nine of Wands, then we have the Six of Cups clarified by the Eight of Pentacles and uh, the Page of Pentacles, and we also have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You could also be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. So yeah, this spread is about somebody coming back from the past and uh, it feels like they have this urgency. <laughs> Something is being lit up underneath their butt. Most likely uh, Mercury retrograde, right? So the first card that came out is the Five of Pentacles and it's clarified by the Knight of Swords. The Five of Pentacles is a card of feeling left out in the cold. That's, I think, their energy. And the Knight of Swords clarifying the Five of Pentacles is either an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, or most likely this is that urgency I was mentioning if, mentioning a few seconds ago. Right, so the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of four knights, so here they come rushing back into your life and uh, they want to uh, get back together with you. The next card that came out is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is either a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces you're dealing with, or um, the King of Cups is simply your love interest. Um, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The next card is the Wheel of Fortune and it's clarified by the Nine of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune is a new cycle that they want to start with you. And uh, the Nine of Wands, I think that is your initial reaction to this person resurfacing in your life. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior. The Nine of Wands is a card of somebody who is hurting, uh, somebody who is putting up a wall between themselves and the person they're dealing with. So that is you. So this whole spread is a challenge for you in, the, in some kind of a way. <clears throat> Sagittarius, this is a challenge for you to give this person another chance. And I think you will give this person another chance because uh, of what we got in the outcome and uh, on the bottom of the deck. On the bottom of the deck we have the Six of Pentacles. Um, in this case, this is you, I think, um, deciding to give this person a second chance, but uh, it's not going to be easy for you. It's like you will be going through a thought process. You will be weighing out all pros and cons. You're going to be taking your time and uh, there is nothing wrong with it, especially when you're dealing with somebody from the past. I don't know what happened between the two of you in the past, but um, according to what I see here, um, it must have not ended on a very nice note, so to speak. In the outcome, we have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles and uh, the Page of Pentacles. The Six of Cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past. This is also a card of a soulmate. And uh, then we have the Eight of uh, Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles in this case is all about giving this another chance. It's all about working it out, trying to uh, rebuild this or build it uh, from a different perspective. Now that the two of you understand that um, certain things should not be done or said certain ways. Perhaps you can um, fix your mistakes or they can fix their mistakes and uh, try it again. And uh, that, yeah, yeah that, that's what I see here with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is, um, you know, this is you trying it on a small note. This is like uh, baby steps, one step at a time. But I really like the Page of Pentacles. To me, it usually represents somebody who is uh, serious. You know, they're starting off small, but the intention here is to um, build it um, from the ground up uh, because both people are actually thinking long term, but they're just being careful in this case, or you're being careful because you're still hurting from what happened in the past. Right, so yeah, you're taking it slow but uh, you are going to give this person another chance. Alright? Cool. 
Sagittarius, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this ex going forward, and uh, we'll get you an advice for the whole situation. Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Six of uh, Pentacles clarified by the Magician, we have Justice, and we have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or not a Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a Libra. So I think the Queen of Wands in the spread is you, Sagittarius, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And this week is about making some kind of a final decision. Um, it doesn't have to be that the fate of this relationship or marriage are at stake, um, but it's still a very significant decision. Um, it could be related to um, a work or business or finances in some, some way. Perhaps you or your significant other got a new job offer and the two of you are trying to decide if this is something that will benefit your relationship or your marriage in the long run. Right? Perhaps it requires um, a relocation, even though I don't see any relocation cards here. Or perhaps it will, this new job will require for either you or them or both of you to uh, alter your lifestyle. Perhaps they have to start earlier or start later. Something among those lines. Something um, this job will do to you your relationship that requires for the two of you to make this decision. It's not going to be uh, the same kind of job that uh, you or them have right now. It's There's something significantly different about it. So um, the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of work or working on something. Then the next card that came out to the uh, after the Queen of Wands is the Six of Pentacles, right? It could also be related to work, business, and finances, and uh, this is the decision that the two of you are making. You see the person standing up in the Six of Pentacles is holding up the scales, right? So it's all about pros and cons, it's all about yes and no's, and if you look at the uh, Justice card, the Justice is also holding up the scales, so it's also about pros and cons, right? The Six of Pentacles is uh, clarified by the Magician. The Magician is either a final decision or the magician is all about starting something new, um, something you've been manifesting or them have been manifesting. Perhaps you're getting what you've been manifesting, but that's not exactly what you wanted, but you still really, really want it. <laughs> Perhaps in the long term, in the long run, it will pay off, or this new job could be more money or whatever you, perhaps the two of you are thinking about starting a new business together, or um, you could be deciding to leave the 9 to 5 job and start a new business, right? Something along those lines. It's going to be a significant decision, but it's not a negative spread. It's not. It's a positive spread. So you'll just have to figure it out together. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Sagittarius, this week. We have the 701s, we have the 1001s, we have the Page of Swords clarified by Strength, and uh, we have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo. This week is going to be hard for you. I'm going to be very straightforward, Sagittarius. This week you will either have to defend something and stand your ground, or you'll have to prove yourself. You'll have to prove that uh, you are really good at what you do, or you're better than your competition, or you're better than uh, somebody who is also trying to get the same job, or somebody who is trying to get a promotion for the same position you want to be promoted for. Something along those lines, but it's going to be a hard week for you. So the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of uh, work or working together, collaborating, uh, basically a work environment, or if you run your own business, this is your biz work of, uh, I mean, <laughs> the place of business, right? The first card that came out is the Seven of Wands. This is a card of somebody who is on defense, somebody who has to prove something to the other people. Or this is somebody who is uh, successfully fighting off the competition. The next card that came out is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. And uh, the last card that came out is the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is clarified by Strength. The, in this spread, the Page of Swords is somebody who is on defense. Right? Take a look at this page. 
uh, this page is holding back, leaning backwards, and uh, they've got their sword out, so they're ready to strike whenever they have to, or if they have to. It's kind of similar to the Seven of Wands energy, the first card I came out. So, like I said, this week it's all about you defending something. Um, you perhaps are defending your vision, or you're trying to get the promotion, or you're trying to get the new job. Or if you run your own business, this is you uh, fighting against your competition. And uh, the Page of Swords is clarified by Strength. Strength is the personal Leo card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or it could be you having strength to push your agenda through to uh, overcome whatever it is that you have to overcome. This is a good spread, but don't take this spread for granted. You have to put a lot of effort here to succeed or to defend or protect what you believe is yours. Good luck! Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Sagittarius. Uh, we have the High Priestess, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands clarified by the Six of Cups, and we have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. What you're not expecting is uh, somebody to reach out to you from the past, and that will um, put you in a state of being trapped or stuck or not knowing what to do. This spread could be about that same person we saw in the first spread, that X, where you will be facing a hard decision. Um, or it could be entirely about somebody else. Since we're in Mercury retrograde, you could be having more than one X resurfacing. So it could be another person. Or it doesn't even have to be an X. It could be a friend or an ex friend or somebody you used to work with, somebody you used to go to school with, somebody you used to. It could be a family member. The uh, main idea here is that this person is going to reach out to you and it's going to be a burden for you. It's going to be hard for you. This person coming back from the past is going to uh, make life a little bit difficult for you. Not in a very <laughs> negative or critical way, but the fact that they're coming back from the past is uh, kind of hard for you. So the first card I came out is the High Priestess. This is something what's unexpectedly happening to you, a very appropriate for this spread. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication, so this is them reaching out to you. They could be literally coming to see you, because the Eight of Wands often uh, represents travel by air. And then we have the Ten of Wands clarified by the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is somebody coming back from the past, and the Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. So this person coming back is a burden for you. The Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is you feeling trapped, or stuck. Perhaps the perhaps somebody calls you or texts you and says, you know, I need a, a place to crash for a couple of days, so that could be a burden for you, and you're stuck with them. Or it could be more serious than just that. It could be an X that we saw in the first spread. So however th this plays out for you, yeah, you will be stuck with this uh, person or situation for a little while, but um, I don't see anything negative here, not much, right? Alright, so that's what I got for you Sagittarius for this uh, week, hopefully it resonates and other than that, have an amazing week. And there you have it, this was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.